George Frederick Samuel Robinson, 1st Marquess of Ripon, the 24th of October 1827 to the 9th of July 1909, styled Viscount Godrich from 1833 to 1859 and known as the Earl of Ripon in 1859 and as the Earl de Grey and Ripon from 1859 to 1871, was a British politician who served in every Liberal cabinet from 1861 until the year before his death, which took place 48 years later in 1909. Topic. Background and education Ripon was born at 10 Downing Street, London, the second son of Prime Minister F. J. Robinson, 1st Viscount Godrich who was created Earl of Ripon in 1833, by his wife Lady Sarah Hobart, daughter of Robert Hobart, 4th Earl of Buckinghamshire. He was educated privately, attending neither school nor college. He was awarded the honorary degree of DCL by Oxford University in 1870. Diplomatic and political career, 1852–1880 Ripon served on Sir Henry Ellis' British Special Mission to the Brussels Conference on the Affairs of Italy during 1848–49. Although his father had been a Tory, Ripon was first a Whig and later a Liberal. He entered the House of Commons as member for Hull in 1852. Both he and his party colleague, James Clay, Hull was a two-seat constituency were unseated in 1853 by petition over claims of widespread corruption in their election, of which they were exonerated of any knowledge. He was returned for Huddersfield later in 1853 and the West Riding of Yorkshire in 1857. In 1859 he succeeded his father as second Earl of Ripon, taking his seat in the House of Lords, and later that year succeeded his uncle in the more senior title of Earl de Grey, becoming known as the Earl de Grey and Ripon. He was Undersecretary of State for War under Lord Palmerston between 1859 and 1861 and 1861 and 1863 and briefly Undersecretary of State for India in 1861. In 1863 he was made a Privy Councillor and Secretary of State for War under Palmerston, with a seat in the Cabinet. He retained this office when Lord Russell became Prime Minister on Palmerston's death in 1865, and then served under Russell as Secretary of State for India between February and June 1866. In Gladstone's first administration he was Lord President of the Council 1868-73. During this period he acted as chairman of the Joint Commission for drawing up the Treaty of Washington with the United States over the Alabama claims. For this, in 1871 he was created Marquess of Ripon, in the county of York. He had already been made a Knight of the Garter in 1869. In 1878 he served as president of the first day of the Cooperative Congress. Viceroy of India, 1880–1884 When Gladstone returned to power in 1880 he appointed Ripon Viceroy of India, an office he held until 1884. During his time in India, Ripon introduced legislation, the Ilbert Bill, named for his secretary, Curtin A. Ilbert, that would have granted native Indians more legal rights, including the right of Indian judges to judge Europeans in court. Though progressive in its intent, the legislation was scuppered by Europeans living in India who did not want to be tried by a native judge. In this Ripon was supported by Florence Nightingale, who also backed his efforts to obtain a Bengal Land Tenancy Bill eventually the Bengal Tenancy Act of 1885 that would improve the situation of the peasants. He repealed the controversial Vernacular Press Act, 1878 passed by Lytton in 1882. He was also instrumental in supporting Dietrich Brandis to reorganize the Madras Forest Department and expand systematic forest conservancy in India. He is still revered in Chennai, formerly Madras, India as Lord Ripon Engel Appen, meaning, Lord Ripon, our father. The corporation of Chennai's Ripon building was named for him, as well as the town of Riponpet in the Shivamaga district in the state of Karnataka. In Calcutta, the Ripon Street was named for him. The Ganta Gar Multan or Clock Tower of Multan in Pakistan was named Ripon Building and Hall of Same Building was named Ripon Hall. The Ripon Club in Mumbai, formerly Bombay, founded in 1884 by the Parsis for their community members, was named after him. Topic. 
Political career, 1884–1908 Lord Ripon also became a supporter of Home Rule for Ireland. In Gladstone's 1886 government he was first Lord of the Admiralty, and in the government of 1892–1895 he was Secretary of State for the Colonies. When the Liberals again returned to power in 1905 under Sir Henry Campbell Bannerman, he took office, aged 78, as Lord Privy Seal and Leader of the House of Lords. In 1908, he declined to remain as Lord's Leader when H. H. Asquith became Prime Minister in April, and he resigned as Lord Privy Seal in October. As noted by Neil Smith, Ripon's liberalism had roots in the mid 19th century, but his political views shifted with the times. According to Smith, he was greatly interested in labor questions, deeply sympathetic to labor aspirations and believed the state might interfere with wages and that the state had a duty to deal with unemployment. Other appointments Lord Ripon was president of the Royal Geographical Society during 1859–60, and trustee of the National Gallery. Lord Ripon also held many positions in the public life in Yorkshire. In 1860 he was appointed honorary colonel of the 1st Volunteer Battalion of the Prince of Wales's own West Yorkshire Regiment and later awarded the Volunteer Decoration VD, in 1863 High Steward of the Borough of Hull, and from 1873 to 1906 was Lord Lieutenant of the North Riding of Yorkshire. He was a Deputy Lieutenant and JP for the Counties of Lincolnshire and the West Riding of Yorkshire, JP for the Liberty of Ripon, and served as Mayor of Ripon in 1895 to 96. Lord Ripon was a Freemason, who served as Provincial Grand Master of the West Riding and Deputy Grand Master of the United Grand Lodge of England from 1861 to 1869, and ultimately as Grand Master from 1870 until his conversion to Catholicism in 1874, following which he was generous in supporting Catholic educational and charitable works. He was President of the Society of St. Vincent de Paul from 1899 until his death and a great supporter of St. Joseph's Catholic Missionary Society. He was also Chancellor of the University of Leeds from 1904 until his death in 1909. The Ripon Falls at the outlet of Lake Victoria were named after him. <laughs> Family Lord Ripon married his cousin Henrietta Ann Theodosia Viner, the 17th of April 1833 to the 28th of February 1907, daughter of Henry Viner and his wife Lady Mary Gertrude Robinson, daughter of Thomas Robinson, 2nd Earl de Grey, on the 8th of April 1851. They had one son and one daughter. Lady Ripon died in February 1907, aged 73. Lord Ripon survived her by two years and died of heart failure at Studley Royal Park in July 1909, aged 81. He was buried at St. Mary's, Studley Royal and was succeeded by his only son, Frederick. <laughs> <laughs> Styles of address 1827–1833, the Honorable George Frederick Samuel Robinson 1833–1852, Viscount Godrich 1852–1853, Viscount Godrich MP 1853, Viscount Godrich 1853–1859, Viscount Godrich MP 1859, The Right Honourable. The Earl of Ripon 1859–1860, The Right Honourable. The Earl de Grey and Ripon 1860–1863, The Right Honourable. The Earl de Grey and Ripon V.D. 1863–1869, The Right Honourable. The Earl de Grey and Ripon V.D. P.C. 1869–1871, The Right Honourable. The Earl de Grey and Ripon K.G. V.D. P.C. 1871–1880, The Most Hun. The Marquis of Ripon K.G. V.D. P.C. 1880–1884, His Excellency the Most Hun. The Marquis of Ripon K.G. GCSI CVDPC 1884–1909, The Most Hun. The Marquis of Ripon K.G. GCSI CVDPC 